It is very nice to greet you again. In today's video we will talk about the following. How to go from heartbreak to reconciliation. Reconciling with an ex may require patience, effort, and a willingness to work on the relationship. It could be a long and winding road, but with the right focus and mindset, it could be possible to build a stronger, healthier relationship. Next, we'll talk about reconciliation and discuss some strategies for trying to get your ex back. 1. Understanding the breakup as a first step. Before you make the decision to try to get your ex back, it may be helpful to consider some questions about your relationship to understand why it ended. You may want to try to discover the root cause of the breakup and how much of the major concerns may have been under your control. Looking at the relationship objectively can help you understand how to move forward. 2. Take time to heal. Before beginning the reconciliation process, it may be beneficial to take some time to heal and focus on self-care. Research shows that self-care can decrease anxiety and increase self-confidence and happiness. Self-care may look different for everyone, but it typically involves taking care of both the mind and the body. For example, you could focus on getting enough rest, eating healthy foods, and taking care of your mind through practices like deep breathing and meditation. 3. Re-establish communication. Once you've taken enough time to reflect, you might consider re-establishing communication with your ex. You can start by reaching out and starting a conversation while being aware of your feelings and boundaries. It may be helpful to keep the conversation light and neutral, avoiding heavy or emotionally charged topics. This approach can help you both rebuild trust as you resume communication. 4. Show personal growth. One factor that can help you get your ex back is demonstrating personal growth and a willingness to work on the relationship. This might involve working on areas of growth and being open and honest about your intentions. During this process, it can be helpful to show that you are listening carefully to your ex's perspective and are willing to make compromises to build a stronger relationship. Showing that you are committed to growth and improvement can go a long way in demonstrating your love and dedication to the relationship. 5. Make peace. If a specific event caused the breakup, you may need to apologize and make amends for any hurtful actions or words. This may be a complex and vulnerable process, but it can show your ex that you are willing to take responsibility for your actions and take concrete steps toward change. 6. Building a solid foundation. The reconciliation process may not just be about getting your ex back, but also about building a strong, healthy relationship. This typically involves open and honest communication, mutual respect, and a commitment to growth and improvement. This process may also involve setting boundaries and establishing trust, as well as resolving any lingering concerns from the past. This can allow you to focus on the present and build a solid foundation for the future. 7. Common Mistakes You Should Avoid If you decide to try to get your ex back, it can be helpful to avoid common mistakes that could hinder progress. Below I will tell you about some common mistakes that should be avoided. Being too insistent or demanding. If you send your ex numerous text messages or call them frequently, your ex may feel a lot of pressure and be less likely to want to reconcile. Bring up old arguments or hurtful events from the past. Focusing on the present and building a solid foundation can be much more fruitful in your attempt at reconciliation. Being too emotional or showing aggression. Instead of diving into deep emotions, it can be helpful to keep conversations neutral and calm. Not wanting to make changes or give in. Relationships are usually based on mutual respect and a willingness to work together, and getting your ex back may require a commitment to growth and improvement. This may involve actively working on areas you would like to improve to demonstrate your commitment to personal growth. 8. Seek professional help. If the reconciliation process becomes overwhelming or confusing, it may be beneficial to speak with a counselor who has experience helping people navigate this process. With a therapist you can talk about your relationship and the reconciliation process from the comfort of your home or from anywhere with an internet connection. You are an essential part of what we do on this channel, for this reason, we keep an eye on what you need, and if it is your desire to recover your ex correctly and effectively, you must click on the link below.